Welcome to Shift with Alexander. Shift. Racing toward prosperity involving self, health, opportunity, and wealth. So gear up for the host of the show, a reason to be Norwegian, Alexander. Welcome to Just an Opinion on Shift. Hey, double hey, San Francisco Bay, Monterey. My name's Alexander, and you're listening to Shift here on the KIYS Video Web Radio Network. Today, I wanted to touch on something that I really feel passionate about, but I call it the Bob event. Bob comes from Body of the Bird. And the Body of the Bird is really about finding the compromise between the left wing and the right wing. It's about cultures. It's about religions. It's about communicating. It's about compromise. It's about creating an event or a movement called the Bob Party, the Body of the Bird, which I believe there's hundreds of millions of people out there that feel the same way I do. Here in the U.S., we all want very similar things. We just can't decide on how to get them done. The right wing says this, and this is what we need to do, and this is the only way to do it, and we don't do it this way. You know what's not going to work. And the left wing saying, no, no, this is what we got to do. We got to do this, that, and the other thing, and if we don't do it this way, it's not going to work. Well, I'm kind of in the middle. I think they say, oh, you got to choose a side. No, I don't. I don't have to choose a side. It's not vanilla and chocolate. I want chocnilla. I want strawberry. I want blueberry. I want bubblegum. I want banana. The only way to do that is to take the power away from these wings. The money, the power, the media, the entertainment industry. These are the people that are out there flapping. And they're flapping. And they don't know that the real answer is somewhere in the middle where most of us are. And we're the body of the bird. And having the wings control the rest of us is no way to get us to go anywhere. We're going to crash and burn. We're going to end up drowning in the ocean or smashing into the mountainside because the wings are the ones that are out here flapping around with the body of the bird not knowing what in the hell is going on. Life is about love. It's about respect. It's about taking things to the next level. My name's Alexander, KIYS Video Web Radio Network. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more of the show. Hi there, my name is Alex Andrew Lee, Regional Director for Money Concepts in the California Coastal Area. Have you ever thought about helping people for a living? I've been with Money Concepts since 1994 and found it to be one of the most rewarding experiences ever. One of the things we pride ourselves at Money Concepts and the California Coastal Area is the way we approach the wealth management business. We have highly trained financial advisors and we use a resource team approach to provide the best advice for our clients possible and then we go out and find the products and services that fit their needs. If you'd like a rewarding career, the California Coastal Area is hiring new and seasoned advisors. Please give me a call at 946-8378, that's area code 408-946-8378 or check out my website at www.moneyconcepts.com slash A-L-E-E. All securities through Money Concepts Capital Corp. Member FINRA SIPC. Welcome back to Shift with Alexandria, where self, health, opportunity, and wealth create the show. Get ready to shift into high gear with Alexandria. Hey, Double Hey, San Francisco Bay, Monterey, welcome back to Shift. You're listening to KIYS Radio, the Kindness in Your Soul Network. And we're talking about how to think differently about your health today with Gretchen Grace. And we have 
an, another wonderful woman in the studio with us uh, via Zoom who actually had so much to do with your healing. Completely. I so. mean, it, it was it's, yep. night and day. Yeah. It, she saved my life. I, I know. Completely. And it's, it is. It's a very emotional yeah. thing. And, and it, we're actually working on a documentary on her healing process that we've been shooting over the last year and a half mm-hmm. or so. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. but who we have here today from, from Manhattan Beach is Dr. Miriam Bakhteri. I wasn't even close, but I tried. I tried. <laughs> that well, sounds good, Andy. <laughs> well, welcome to uh, the program, Dr. Miriam. Thank you so much, not only for being here today, uh, as we saw her yesterday. Yes, we did. Drop down in, in uh, Manhattan Beach and drove up last night. Um, you know, can you just give us a little bit about uh, idea about who you are and where you came into doing this thing that's so unique to help people shift into understanding what you do. Thank you for having me um, here, Andy, with you guys. I am Dr. Maryam Bakhtiari, and you did pronounce my last name better than in 26 years <laughs> I've heard. Um, I you. practice in Manhattan Beach. I am a general dentist with specialty in temporomandibular joint disorder which is right here, the joint that is right in front of our ear, um, TM, which is called TMJ, sleep apnea, and a special um, orthodontic treatment that is more European and less invasive non-extraction that kind of all these three fields um, are like hand-to-hand interconnected. And um, what Gretchen was talking about Um, What I treat is the area right in front of the ear where most of us in as clinician miss if the patient has misstructure, meaning that like the upper jaw and the lower jaw are not aligned properly. If the structure of the jawline is misaligned, we get to pinch the major neurovasculature, which means nerve, artery, and vein that passes in that region and feeds our brain. So when that area gets impinged, that's when patient's uh, nervous system um, fits into sympathetic mode, which is fight and flight. And that's when it shuts down the immune system. And if a patient like Gretchen has gone through years of that, you can see what it does to your immune system. Oh my gosh, it's, you know, it's crazy. And I always thought of this, my dad's jaw popped, you know, when you know he was eating usually meat or something that was hard to chew and mine has for years and so how does it relate to other health issues sure sure and i'm going to actually um bring up a, a poster that we have in every room which shows the area of the tmj okay so this is a two-dimensional um view of what passes right behind our lower jaw to the brain so It is a lot more than jaw clicking. TMJ, people really quickly think like yourself or your dad that it's just a clicking noise, sometimes headaches, sometimes patients get jaw locking, but it's a lot more than that, meaning that the nerve that passes in that region is our second biggest sensory nerve in our body. Holy Moses. Just imagine, like you can have a pinched area on that nerve and you can have a pain in your foot or in your back. Or in your, so it's like a huge sensory nerve that passes in that region. And I think a lot of the clinician m- miss this anatomical, important anatomical area. You're talking about the second most important nerve running into your brain and through your body that is being impinged like that. Is that what I'm getting? Yes. Okay. So what happened is as we're little kids and we're walking, we can fall down and hit our chin to any structure, right? Like all the toddlers fall down. Right. As we grow older, we get sport injuries, car accidents, um, sometimes wrong orthodontic treatment. And when the upper and lower jaw are misaligned, there is a possibility that we're pinching that major important neurovasculature to the brain all the time. Anytime the patient clenches or chews, it could be pinching it. So what happened is when the brain feels like the oxygen and the blood is not flowing and the nerve is being pinched, it has this survival mechanism that goes through this sympathetic mode and worry. Oh, I'm going to die or I'm not going to get circulation. So that sympathetic mode is okay if you have one time a day 
um, dealing with something that worries you. But if you're 24 hours, your brain is worried. And these patients, when they sleep on their back, the lower jaw even falls further back, pinches the circulation. So you're supposed to be resting, but you get up even more tired, more foggy, because brain is not getting any type of a circulation. And that's where so, her, her that's where her symptoms were the worst. It was almost always about an hour after she would fall asleep and go until you know she'd get up because you're like what you're saying is the gravity is pushing the jaw even farther back against that ear bone and pinching it off. And I, I got another question. What you were saying there about the fight or flight mode, it, and and we're going to talk about this a little bit in the next segment. But I just wanted to touch on it because you know we kind of have a history of of paranoia and anxiety. I guess is probably the better term for it in a family. Is it would that be something that could actually be related to a symptom of TMJ because yes. of because yes. of that. So a lot of the patients we treat here, it's, it's so funny. We just posted in our Instagram a story of a kid with Tourette syndrome. So like movement disorder, a fibromyalgia, Parkinson's, patients with depression, anxiety. It can be that not on all the cases, but there could be a component of temporomandibular joint disorder. So when we say we treat patients for TMJ, and if let's say the patient is diagnosed with Lyme disease or Parkinson's, I am only taking an x-ray to see is that patient's uh, TMJ area enclosing that circulation or is the TMJ is in the right position? So if a patient walks in with all these uh, diagnoses and I take an x-ray and I see that they have perfect distance, there's nothing being pinched, then there's something else that could be. But I will tell you 99% of the patient that walk in here with migraine, any type of a, a cluster headache or headaches, fibromyalgia is another one, chronic fatigue syndrome. These patients, all we do is make an orthotic, move the lower jaw forward and alleviate that pinched area and open it up. And within a day, they come back and their symptoms are better. I mean, how do you really treat this? It seems to me like you'd want to get in there and cut the bone and pull the jaw down. And, you know, I had to have my nose adjusted and they went in and broke it and put it back together and it's still crooked. But it was Kaiser, five bucks. What do I expect for five dollars, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> three broken noses and it's still crooked after my five dollar <laughs> surgery. What the heck? But, but I think that, you know, people I can't even fathom this. And again, this is what this show is all about, right? I mean, shift how you think. It's not a drug that's going to fix it. It's a type of therapy. I think it's the same thing on the mental side. I mean, you're talking about she was foggy. Why was she foggy? She wasn't getting the flow to her brain. She, she, she couldn't put a sentence together sometimes. What we do is we make an orthotic after we take a comb beam CT x-ray and know exact position of that joint in, uh, in relation to the ear bone. And what we do is just move that lower jaw with an orthotic that's made for like Gretchen or a patient to a little bit more forward where we know that that anatomical region is not being compressed. And that's all the patient has to wear it 24 hours. It is not any medication. It's pretty simple. And as you, Gretchen knows, it's for people that are non-invasive, it's a um, pretty safe way of treating a, a, an ailment that you've spent thousands of dollars. And by moving that jaw in the correct position, unfortunately, patients' bite is usually misaligned the prior. Right. So at least we can, with the orthotic, simulate a perfect bite, simulate that correct bite. And the patient, all of a sudden, the neck gets aligned, the posture gets better. And now we have flow to the top. At the same time, we're aligning the spine where the cerebral spinal fluid can have its normal rhythm and the patient's immune system slowly boosts up on its own. So, and it's kind of like an Invisalign type thing. We're going to take a break here in just a second, but it's it's really not that bad. I mean, you might get a little soreness in your teeth and stuff like that, but but it's it's just amazing. And again, I want to thank you for, for, for bringing Gretchen back into our life because it's been amazing. So stay tuned. You're watching KIYS Radio. This is Shift with Alex Andrew on the Kindness in Your Soul Network. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Hi there, my name is Andrew Lee, Regional Director for Money Concepts in the California Coastal Area. I've been self-employed since 1989, and I'm doing exactly what I want to do. I don't work for a company. I don't work for uh, a boss. I work for 
the acquaintances that develop into the clients of mine and make sure that they're taken care of and I'm able to follow the certain things in their lives that they may not have the knowledge or the time to be able to do that. It starts with taxes and working with their CPA or their attorneys, whether they're working with certain other issues, legal issues that they may have, and being able to wrap that whole thing together through a process we call uh, the 360 program at, at Money Concepts. If you'd like to develop a financial independence plan, please give me a call at 408-946-8378 today. All securities through Money Concepts Capital Corp, member FINRA, SIPC. You're tuned into Shift with Alexander. Racing toward prosperity because it's all about this show and you're the director. Here's your host, Alexander. Hey, double hey, San Francisco Bay, Monterey. Welcome back to Shift on the KIYS Video Web Radio Network, the Kindness in Your Soul Network, where we talk about the show, self health, opportunity, and wealth. And this is a pretty amazing story that I've been part of, you've been part of. And we're talking with Dr. Miriam Bakhtiari about utilizing a, a, a type of a treatment for other ailments. And I, I, I think we almost have to be careful here because of the way that, that the world is out there. And, and here's kind of the way that I've approached this because many of the doctors that we've seen, we had one uh, chiropractor, which I would guess chiropractic is probably a good combination with this. Is that right? Yes. Yes. And, and, um, the gentleman was doing very well at treating a certain type of autoimmune disease. They did a radio st- or a TV axle story on him on a national network. And the next thing they did, they said, you know, hey, um, sorry, but you can't really cure this thing when it's really more a, of a treatment for something else. And, and, and t- correct me if I'm wrong here. My thought is, we talked about this when she went in to get her gout diagnosis. I got to guess she doesn't have gout. Would you think? Okay. I can't tell you, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just saying, I'm going to guess it's it's a symptom that is very similar to gout. So they said gout. Um, Fibromyalgia. She has symptoms that are similar to fibromyalgia. Now, obviously, she has symptoms that are similar to leukemia because we know what those cells look like. They've looked at her blood. They know what they are. But... Can you just share an amazing story about what happened the first oncology appointment after after you started seeing Dr. Miriam? Yes, absolutely. So I started seeing Dr. Miriam end of October of uh, 2018, correct? And um, my oncology appointment was in April of 2019, uh, uh, right. right? So I had a few months to adjust the body to adjust and to see, okay, I did know on a physical level, my, my energy began to return. My hair, my, my clarity of thought began to return. I was able to, to actually um, hold a thought for longer than just a few seconds and um, to, to actually expound on it. So, so I began to see these these um, things improve. And I knew this was working. Um, And then what I noticed is that when I needed an adjustment with the mouth appliance, where they go in and they make sure that your bite is tight, and that it's holding that jaw in place. What I noticed is when that jaw started to slide back, I mean, ever so slightly, that the pain started to return. And I started uh, having those episodes where I was in bed for right. a day, two day. However, my recovery level began to improve where it was only taking me 18 hours, 24 hours to recover versus the three to four days I was looking at right. prior to the, the treatment. And then what I noticed I then with the oncology appointment, like you had s- mentioned, is that all my b- numbers started to to balance and the oncologist was so excited and he said your your white cell count has has decreased by 10 percent which which you see it 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 ebbs and flows it it kind of uh, does that however the balancing of the all the the blood work was so exciting to him and he was so encouraged by that and not knowing this treatment, now, I did tell him I'm being treated for this. But again, these doctors don't understand the correlation or the relation to this jaw, 
to the other, to, to our immune systems, uh, like Dr. Merriam is, is telling. How does Gretchen's situation uh, compare to some of the other patients you had? Is this a real common thing to see? Yeah, we see this daily. A lot of fibromyalgia patients. Um, we see a lot of patients that have Parkinson's, movement disorders, uh, fatigue syndrome where they're disabled from work. So, and then regularly we see patients with migraines and um, dizziness and um, issues like that. Well, you know, Andy, how I see it is there's not tons of studies to say, okay, are we, what am I doing? All as a dentist who practices TMJ, all I do is I just put the upper and lower jaw into perspective and open up a region that is very important. Now, medicine has not looked at this very clearly because I work with neurologists and the neurologists, when I show them this, they all say it makes sense. Well, how come it didn't make sense before? Because medical school, yeah. the, the, the TMJ itself is very gray zone even to insurance companies. Right. If, if they knew, the insurance companies knew that by treatment of TMJ, how much your whole nervous system becomes calmer and more healing and how your neck becomes a little bit longer and there's no pinched nerve, there's pa patients with neck pains, back pains, all of that is being affected and in, in return, your immune system is becoming improved because now Gretchen is not in sympathetic mode. She's in a mode that actually can heal and it boosts the immune system. So it's kind of like in, in, in your family, I'm sure the kids, when, they're, when you were younger and you didn't sleep for three nights, you catch cold faster. Right. When your immune system is suppressed because you didn't have sleep or you didn't have, you had too much stress, you get sick faster. It's just like that. This is an internal way of the system being stressed for years. And now it's saying that, you know what? I'm gonna give up. My immune system is low. Things grow on me. Things, um, like we, we treat a lot of patients with TMJ that in their questionnaire, they have already breast cancer. They already mm -hmm. had ovaries removed. What is that related? I don't know. I'm not saying that uh, TMJ causes that, but I could tell you that TMJ really suppresses the immune system. Can you make it grow hair? I need a little more hair. Does it work for hair? <laughs> I'll she, grow hair. I wish. Yeah, no, yeah, I really. I, she's I, a miracle worker, but that—that's. I don't know. That, that's, I don't know. I'm, you know, I'm starting know. to push I, that limit. In the '70s, when I was in the band, I had beautiful hair. Now I'm kind of going, man. There's four left. Anyway. No, um, no, Andy, you're, you're you're good the way you are. Oh, thank you, thank you, Dr. Marion. Um, so, okay, so so what we're we're really talking about isn't you're not out there saying that you can cure all these diseases. And I think that's important. What you're saying is you're starting at a different level than a lot of other people. You're shifting how people think. I love this show, Shift, right? right? Now, we wanted to talk about BLAs. This is, can you talk a little bit about this? I mean, it's kind of unique and different, and it, it kind of serves a dual purpose here. Can you kind of tell us a little bit about what BLA yes, is? Yes, in 2011, I patented an appliance called Bella Lip Appliance, and it originally was um, designed for my patients that I do, younger patients that I do orthodontics. I noticed that their lip um, muscle has a posture that's not like um, up. It's a little bit drooping and they're not, the, the kids are not using their facial structure and they're not chewing like we're intended to chew. And so I thought, and we're younger and younger getting injections and, and everybody wants that fuller lip. So I thought I have to come up with something that could anchor around the mouth with resistance, kind of like the Thai master, but right. for the mouth. I like and it. It started with all that because I'm all into non-invasive, as you guys know. So it started with that. So it actually exercises your facial muscle. And it, ex and it boosts and uh, increases the lip mass because we're actually working out the lip muscles, the face muscles without needing any injections. And it's a way of uh, elongating aging process. And then patients that snored told me that by exercising their jawline muscle, they're, um, they're not snoring as much. So then we started looking into it to see um, and I know it works on those areas, but it wasn't intended for that. So it's got a lot more um, features that we're going to uh, look into. Right now, our research that we are doing in-house is about how much of this do we need to use and how much increase in the lip mass are we getting. 
So that's going to be published, and we're going to uh, send it out. Yeah. Great. Well, we're going to put up your information on the card. we got to run real quick here, but uh, thanks for tuning in to Thank Shift. you for joining us for another episode of Shift with Alexander, where self, health, opportunity, and wealth create the show. It's all about the show. Be the director, drive your energy, and shift to the prosperity you desire. Don't forget to tune in to our next episode of Shift with Alexander. Thanks again for joining us, everybody. Thank you so much. This is a great show. It's been a fun time. You've been watching Shift. My name's Alexandru. And I'm Gretchen Grace. Where it's all about the show. Self. Health. Opportunity. And wealth. Come check us out at KIYSradio.com or KIYSTV.com. KIYS, the kindness in your soul network where all our programming is geared towards making you have a better life. Yes, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you'll never miss a show. Again, my name's Alex Andrew. And I'm Gretchen Grace. We'll catch you soon. See you next time.